Hans, uh, another victory, a tense game, but complete mad scenes towards the end of the game. What happened when Sam picked the king? <laughs> oh, it was just misunderstanding, nothing, nothing too serious. We had a cordial conversation after, so I assume there's, there's no hard feelings there. But, uh, just a misunderstanding. So it wasn't just uh, an instinct to pick the king and start twirling it. It was he wanted to get your attention. Like what was his? No, I think the the, the pin of the piece was um, the king had fallen off. Uh huh. So he just picked it up, but I was just a bit annoyed because it was on my time. But uh, again, I, I'm not. There's just no need to discuss. Uh, it was just a misunderstanding. So. And you guys it, discussed though. after the game and. There's there's no 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 it was just a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. I don't want there's no 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 drama. I know you guys are desperate for views. But no, <laughs> no 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 drama. But why he said let's go and speak or something? Sorry? <laughs> he, it seemed like he said like let's what go somewhere. What was he telling to you at this point? Yes. Well, he, he wanted to towards the outside. Again, I, again, it's a misunderstanding. But the, he wanted to glue the piece. Ah. Ah. So he wanted to go and glue the piece. Yes. I, again, we, it, I was just very confused. So. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense right now. Okay, let's talk. But the the game. chess is much more interesting than yeah, that. Absolutely. So. Let's talk uh, the game. That's a good idea, yeah. Talk um, to us about the game. Yeah, so he, he started thinking after, after uh, the semi thrush which was mm -hmm. just, I guess he wasn't expecting it. Um, and he had a game against Jeffrey, so he repeated this line with bishop f4. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I had not checked this, that would be very foolish. Uh, he, I played rook c8 and said, which is the best move. But, uh, and this Jeff was a novelty as well. Well, okay, it's not much of a novelty. Okay. I think it's relatively known if you're playing this opening. But anyways, uh, in Jeffrey's game, I guess Jeffrey played bishop b3. And it's not that bad, but it's very inaccurate. But this is actually quite a critical line. So after rook c8, he plays um, g3, bishop b3, only move. Uh, knight h5, also only move. These are all only moves. And mm -hmm. I checked this this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, bishop b3, f5, g4. F this is the first sort of uh, place where after f4, things can, white has the choice. But white has bishop a7, white has bishop d4, mm -hmm. and white has gh5. Mm -hmm. So those are the three kind of moves. Maybe there are more, but uh, from what I remember, these are three moves. And let's say after gh5, um, that would be the top choice, take, take. Bishop e7, knight, knight takes, rook f8, and goes rook f1 and some some stuff. I don't mm -hmm. remember the mm -hmm. precise, I think. And I think, yeah. Yeah. Position is pretty good for you. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think it's equal on, on a higher depth, but uh, I was checking it was equal. Um, Close to equal. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. A bishop d4. This is this. I remember this being quite challenging. Yeah, knight f6, and I remember h6 rook g8. And it felt like he knew what he's doing. Yeah, he definitely knew. Well. But knight f6 was when he moved him uh, because here he started to think. Yeah, h6 is what I remembered, and uh, rook g8, uh, rook g2, take on h6. I didn't remember this specifically. I stopped after uh, rook um, g8, but I I could just figure out that after king e8, yeah, knight e4, h5. This has to be okay. I just uh, the bishop on b3 shuts down the rook on a1, and the two bishops combined with the rook coming to c2 uh, should be more than enough. And then mm -hmm. uh, he played rook g2, and I, I played bishop c5, which, yeah. And now he's surprised yeah, so you. Yeah, so we discussed this after the game, uh, h6, but I didn't, uh, no, 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 before, um, uh, instead of bishop c5, uh, h6. h6 for black. And yeah, knight e4, knight e4, take, take rook c4, uh, knight d2, rook d4, and then, yeah, now rook d7. Um, and rook d1, and I wasn't quite sure how to unt ah bishop b4. Wow, that's a <laughs> nice, that's a nice little tactic. Yeah, I, I missed that. Um, I don't think uh, it's that's pretty easy to miss. But I wasn't after. Let's say not even. Rook, I wasn't. Yeah, king f1. I, it was sort of weird, sure. you know. I wasn't sure how to untangle my pieces. Um, but oh, boy, the computer just says it's equal. Um, anyways, um, but it's I thought bishop. Clear. But I yeah, thought bishop, bishop c5 d6. was much. Yeah, bishop c5 just felt much more natural. It's a very forcing, and it gives some opportunities to sort of mess up because he could have played bishop f6, gf6, and knight e4, bishop d4. And Did you feel like he's? And I thought, I thought, I thought I could outplay him here. Um, um, I, I wasn't. Yeah, there was rook g3, bishop e5. Yeah, yeah, I saw this, and there was a critical idea: rook g3, bishop e5, rook d3. No, no, rook g3, bishop e5, rook d3, king e7, knight e5, take, take, bishop b2, and I rook e1, I have rook c1, which is critical. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So that's just the only detail that you need to see in this in this variation, um, uh, because otherwise this is fine. Yeah. So he went this, and I'm like, what is this? What is going on? Yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so you did not anticipate this move you at all. I don't think it was. This uh, was not part of your candidate moves. <laughs> no. Uh, I had I had a, there was a many different emotions that I, that I felt <laughs> after this move. Yeah. So okay, bishop takes. So 
here I have I have king uh, e8, I have king e7. I, um, those are the sort of canon rules. Um, I thought king e7 was much more natural. Knight c5, yeah, so here I, pl I play bishop. Okay, I, I thought about bishop h5, rook g7, bishop f7, now knight b7. And here rook h, uh, g8. He, yeah, he, he, he told me this after the game. Yeah, if rook h, g8, there might be rook f7. So it's smarter just to, to play uh, rook c, g8 to avoid this. Take, take, bishop a7. And I thought rook g8. Um, and rook here... G2. Rook G1, sorry, check. Um, Rook G1, check. And I wasn't sure if King, if yeah, now you might have Bishop H5, but I thought the point was if King D2, I could play Rook G2, and you, I can sort of try to pick up the pawn. But again, it's it's sort of a race. Mm -hmm. um, this is what we discussed after the game. Even, but I, I, well, Black is obviously to be preferred. Um, mm -hmm. So there are some concrete ways, but I my idea initially was Bishop G4, and uh, I thought if H3, the the idea was to play Rook to D8. And uh, now if bishop e3, I play bishop f3, rook g7, king e8. And now I thought knight d5 was coming. Um, but maybe this is not Sorry. as precise. Where? Ah, knight d5, you yeah, coming for Yeah, that. something yeah. like that, yeah. It felt quite uh, dangerous. Um, and then rook d1, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, and problems. also even, yeah. So like rook, 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 rook b7, knight d5, for example. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, there's any four. Yeah. But anyways, I thought, oh yeah, rook c6, rook c6, rook c6, yeah. rook c6. That's, that's, that's quite smart, yeah. But anyways, I felt with the, with the bishop and rook, uh, the king stuck, there had to be some tactics, because the knight on c5 can't really move, because it's always sort of a rook takes c3 idea. For example, if, um, instead of rook, if the knight b7, it, knight there's rook c3, seven. knight d8, rook d3, um, which is quite critical. Um, there's checkmate, yeah. Yep. And, nice. um, and yeah, so he plays takes, yeah, take, yeah. And this endgame is quite nice, this rook e8 check is important to get rook c7. Mm -hmm. And I was quite happy here, um, yeah. B6, this is an interesting, I wasn't sure, this is quite a, a nuanced position because oh, I'm happy, okay, so you, it's, whenever you have these end games, putting your pawns in a square, it's, very, it's a very difficult thing to, to sort of evaluate because it, you just cannot see the future. Um, but I felt that with B6, it wasn't really possible for him to play, um, if he didn't play A5 immediately, I thought that A4 could be a weakness. So I mm -hmm. thought A6, A5 would allow him the hold. Um, so I thought B6 was quite nice. Mm -hmm. um, he goes h h6, yeah, the rook, allowing rook e3, yeah, so this was great. And now my rook is activating, yeah, king e6, rook d3, yeah, rook d b5, yep, okay, bishop, yeah, okay. Okay, wow, so rook f4, can I just check this? There's, yes. So there's rook f4? Here, ah, rook f4, rook e2, king d5. Okay, it's probably not such a big difference. Uh, and bishop g7, what, what, is the, what is the difference? Ah, I guess so. the, the rook is better placed on g4, maybe there's some... Yeah. <laughs> and rook e8? Oh, so, uh, okay, okay, yeah, so the rook e8, the pawn's hanging. Okay. It's a small detail. Interesting, yeah. yeah. No, rook e5 felt very natural to me, and I also was trying to press on the clock. Yeah, okay, take, yeah, bishop g7. I don't okay. think it's a huge difference. Okay, okay, yeah, so so let's, yeah. Yeah, so this, uh, uh, so here I played, I played, um, rook f7. I played, I played rook f7, he played rook, I'm just, where did I, what did I blunder? King f1, b4, oh my god, I actually was playing, no, oh wait, wait, so I have to take on h5. I have to take an h7. Mm -hmm. I have to take an f2. What did you calculate here? Uh, this is just so confusing to me. <laughs> I was just, I was like, it's just, it's just so ridiculous. Like, for example, let's start from the position where I played rook f7. Like, I'll, sh I'll, I'll, I'll talk about what All I was calculating. Way, uh, yeah. So he plays rook h8, rook h8 on t 40. 40. So he plays this move. No, no, even maybe one move before that. I play rook d7. Yes, yeah, so rook e8. So here I have so many ideas. So I have rook d2. I have b4. I have rook f7. So I was thinking like rook d2, rook h8, rook f2, king g3, and I thought check, king f3, take, there, and I thought, and I wasn't sure because I was like, okay, let's say, okay, b4, rook h8, and I guess, I guess the computer just stole, yeah. I just, I don't know, I, I guess I just got in my own head here. This is, this is probably just the simplest. Um, I just, yeah, I was just too afraid, didn't have the nerves here. But I, again, I was like thinking, oh, maybe rook f8 is coming, rook g8, and I thought, how do I win? Like everything's covered. I guess you just have to go for this pawn, and then yeah, and then I just kill for the pawn. Yeah, pawn. I guess it's, yeah, it's, it's not easy. Yeah, of it's point of the. Yeah, I was looking at this, but then the, so when I play in the game, I was also thinking, okay, instead of instead of after, okay, instead of b4, no, no, no I, I play I play rook g5 check. Yes. So let's go back instead of rook g5. So I can play take f2, and then king g3. Yeah, and I thought rook takes b2. Because I thought this rook and game, oh, this rook and game is a draw. Okay, yeah, I'm just stupid. Yeah, okay, let's take, just take. Uh, and, and rook b8 and. a6, oh. rook b7, probably. Yeah, that makes so much sense. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, I, I did not uh, understand that. And I'm supposed to give a check. Yeah, I guess I just have to win the h2 and f2 pawns, and I'm just winning. Mm. But I, I thought like this was clever. 
-hmm. And he plays, he plays king h4, and I go rook g6. Yeah, I just completely misevaluated this. This, um, but he has a very ridiculous draw. So the draw here, yes. b3. He has to play, yeah, f6 and rook h5. Yeah, that is. <laughs> Did you guys discuss this position after our game? It's funny. We both actually just missed. Even our, 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 after the game, we just completely missed rook h5. Yeah. Oh so at God. this point, I think. Or he Wait, so thought king, that king you guys should be going into that variation. So king a2? Play. Yes. Rook b5? Yes. Rook g6? Rook f5 now. <laughs> and b2? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess, I, guess, uh, I guess that is just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. And you're not getting checkmated I guess, somehow. I guess... Um, you know, uh, I guess humans make these mistakes. So, uh. <laughs> By the way, I think uh, we might have missed something, like a6. You know, <laughs> oh. checks. Oh my god. Okay, this is he had he had a little bit. Of, he had like no time, but okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can. I I knew I was playing very badly, but um, it was not. Um, okay, so king a2. And, and now after this, I think it's, it's just now uh, it's over. Wow, that is so ridiculous. So can we just go back to see how could I? So the critical mistake was rook g6. Yes. Can you go, no, 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 all the way back, all the way back. So rook g6, and so, so let's say I play, I need to play rook a5, rook h7. Yes. I play rook f2. Sure. And he plays king, king g3, for example. Mm -hmm. I have to let's play rook f7, back. rook h8. Yes, let's go. Oh, no, no, there's rook g5 here, okay. So then let's say king g4, instead, king g4. Rook king g4, rook f7, king g4. I just, I could not figure it out. Mm -hmm. Now rook a1. Sure. Uh, okay, and I go around. Yeah, I guess I'm just I'm just G1, I can't calculate for my life. Push the pawns. Yeah, yeah it always, not easy. It, it looked very scary to me, um, and I was struggling to figure it out. But yeah, it's just there's so many options and so many weird things happening. I was getting I was just confusing myself. But yeah, I should have just been like, okay, I, I needed some of my arrogance today, to be honest. <laughs> I was a bit too humble, uh, and it cost me. What happened four days ago when you came here? You said that you're going to come to stage a comeback, and you did. You just won your last three games. Four days ago. Yes, or three days ago. Because I think we after, had a rest after, I, day. after I beat... Uh, we had a rest day, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I think that um, I have... What changed? Well, I think that I've just managed my, my nerves better, and um, I think that at some... At early on in the tournament, there was a, a lot of pressure uh, that I put on myself um, to perform, um, and uh, combining with outside pressure, I think it just sort of really made it difficult for me to play, um, because I think that I can assure you to everyone that uh, playing chess, uh, as I said during the Singfold Cup, playing chess under sort of unique conditions or unstable conditions is extremely difficult. Um, but I think after I like lost three games like an idiot, I sort of realized, okay, I'm not going to win the tournament. So I relaxed a bit, and I also sort of realized, you know, I really hate losing so much, you know, it keeps me up at night. So uh, I wanted to sleep more, so I decided to start uh, playing better chess. Um, and I also just hated the fact that, that, you know, it's just, I don't want to give anyone the satisfaction of watching me lose. <laughs> um, because I'm sure many people take satisfaction of that. Uh, so I also take satisfaction of winning and yeah. seeing people who want me to lose win. So I took a bit of spite and motivation and, uh, okay, you got to start playing good chess. Yeah, you can't be an idiot forever. Yesterday, you said that the tournament has been a disaster. Has the tournament improved for you? Do you consider it to be a success now? No, why would it be a success? I, okay, I've won four games, which is very good. And if you, if you for any other player, it would be good. But unfortunately, I, lose to, I lost three games, which uh, I don't think anyone has. <laughs> uh, so, okay, it's definitely, I think it's a success from, from considering the circumstances. It's definitely a significant success. Um, but of course, I, I hold myself to a higher standard and I expect more of myself. And I believe that this is uh, that not even close to, to my peak level of play. Guys, any questions? Uh, just congratulations on your win streak, Hans, and we'll be seeing you in the ultimate round, uh, the who, final round tomorrow. Who Hans Stassi. actually plays tomorrow? I wonder. Uh, okay, I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Yes. I wonder with what? So, how, how do you feel yourself? I mean, it's the last round. And actually, today you managed to stop Sam Sevian. Now he's, he oh, lost the, his third the job, position. The job's yes. not finished. You know how many games you need to win to win an NBA series? <laughs> I don't, you guys aren't going to get that joke, but you, know, <laughs> so you have to win four. Yeah. Four. But the so job's not to, finished. Yeah. Okay. All right. All the best. All tomorrow. the best. <laughs>